Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n, then print the unique odd integers formed using all the digits of n. So we'll take our first test case that is n is equal to 147. Now we'll use the concept of permutations. Now we have to find the permutation of this number that could give a odd number. So the numbers would be 147, 417, 471 and 741. So these are the permutations of 147 that is odd integers. Also they have given a note that the numbers must be in ascending order. As you can see these permutations of 147 that is odd is in ascending order. So we'll take our second test case that is n is equal to 6772. So here the permutations of this number that this odd are 6727 and the 7267 7627. So these are the permutations of 66772 that is odd. Also you can see they are in ascending order. Also they are unique. Now let us implement our program. First we will get the integer n in the form of string so that it will be easy for permutations. So since we are using permutations we have to import it. So from iter tools import permutation then after that we'll have the empty list called odd num list. So now we'll iterate over uh, permutation of n. So now the digits will be like uh, 1, 4, 7. So in order to remove these and join them, we are going to use the val is equal to join of a val. So now we have to check for whether it is odd or not. So here itself we will convert into int and here we will check whether it, it is odd or not. So if val mod 2 is equal to equal to 1 means the odd num list would be appended with the val. And now there will be some duplicate values right. So in order to prevent that the odd num list is equal to set of the odd num list and finally 
will print asterisk sorter of odd num list as it should be in ascending order. So now we'll execute our program with our first test case. So we have got the correct output that is all our odd integers, odd permutations of 147 that is in ascending order. Now we'll pass our second test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Now we'll pass our third test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.